25. 20 Thames VTR 8459. Take one. Hello, and a very warm welcome back to... Michael Benteen's Potty Time, take one. Cool. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed, Clarence. Beautifully done. Now, this particular Potty Time, I'd like to talk to you about the Vikings. Of course, the Vikings were the sea pirates who came from the north. That is to say, from uh, Denmark, Sweden, Norway, that sort of area. And they used to raid the sea coasts of Europe, and especially the sea coasts of Britain. And after the Romans left, of course, the ancient, the ancient Britons were very much in line for an attack from the Vikings, and they were very, very afraid of the Vikings as well. Nonsense! Absolute nonsense! We aren't afraid of the Vikings. We ancient Britons aren't afraid of anything. But I was always taught you were absolutely terrified of the Vikings. Ah. Not at all. Not at all. Naturally, we are prepared. I mean, after all, we aren't mugs, you know. <laughs> Dear me, no, no, no. We are ready to meet the Vikings and win. Oh, yes, win. How many times did they actually attack you? Uh, every Saturday during the season. Every Saturday? What season? The Viking season, of course. Amazing. Some people don't seem to know anything at all. Do you mean to say that they used to attack you every Saturday? I mean, every, every Saturday? That's absolutely right. But then, I mean, they, uh, well, you must have expected well, naturally. them. naturally. And we plan our defence accordingly. Oh. Well, how did you beat them, then? Teamwork, lad. Oh. Teamwork. Our side has the finest anti-Viking team in ancient Britain. Oh. Oh, absolutely. Now, let's look at our first line of defence. Oh. Our forward line, as it were. Yeah. There's Charlie. Charlie? Uh, Charlie Britannicus. Our early warning system. Cool. This is Charlie. Good day, Druid. How do you do? Good day, Charlie. Now, Charlie gives us early warning of the approach of the Viking fleet. The fleet? Well, they can, <laughs> they can hardly come across the North Sea by bus. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> hey, by bus! <laughs> oh, that's a good one, Druid. <laughs> by bus! <laughs> now, you see, Charlie can hear the Viking fleet approaching by listening with his big artificial ears oh. from a good mile off and sounds the alarm. Go on, Charlie, sound the alarm. Now, that alarm rouses our second line of defence, oh. our centre half, as it were. And who's that? Now, our second line of defence is Fred. 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 Fred! Where are they? I'll murder them. Just let me get at them. I'll swat them flat. I'll bash them black and blue. Oh, as you can hear, Fred's a right turn away. Yeah. What a fighter Fred is. Now, if the Vikings get past Fred, yeah. we've still got a third line of defence in reserve. A third line. Our secret weapon. A secret weapon? A catapult. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We've got a catapult. <laughs> there it is. Ah, oh, what about that then? It's fantastic. As you say, fantastic. <laughs> and fast as well. Really? Did you know that that catapult is the fastest operated catapult in Britain today? Good heavens. Now, the secret of this super speed catapult is its operator, Bert. Bert. <clears throat> Bert! <laughs> you called the druid. Show our big friend how fast you can fire the catapult. <laughs> oh, most certainly. Oh, oh, gracious me, yes. How fast can I operate the catapult to show you? <laughs> fire! <laughs> oh, beautiful, Bert, beautiful. 
confidentially. Yeah. Bert cost us a fortune in transfer fees, but he's worth it. Transfer fees? Oh, we got Bert from a northern club. Cost uh, a bucket. Oh, bucket. What part of the north would that be? <laughs> Bradford. I come from Bradford. Ah. And as I say, worth every penny. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Have no fear when Vikings near, cause Bert is here. <laughs> oh dear, dear, dear. <laughs> now just a minute, Druid. You're trying to tell me your sole defence against the Vikings is Charlie, Fred and Bert? I I is that all? Oh dear me, no. Goodness me, no. <laughs> Did you hear that, lads? <laughs> he thinks the only thing we've got up our sleeves is you lot. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we've still got our fast-moving reserve defence. Oh, what's the cavalry. that? Cavalry. Oh, indeed. The jolly cavalry. The cavalry? Up there, ready to leap to the attack, is the cavalry led by Her Majesty, Queen Boadicea. Your Majesty, forward, the cavalry! That's the cavalry? That's the cavalry. It's all right, Your Majesty, just to practice alarm. Oh, yes, yes. <clears throat> oh dear, and I was just getting dinner ready. <coughs> really? <laughs> Back, Dobbin. <clears throat> Goodbye. 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 Now. Ah, that's about it. As you can see, we've got a marvellous team. A marvellous team. And that's it? Well, we do have one other trick up our sleeves. But, well, yes, that's, uh, that's about it. And you actually feel uh, ready to meet the Vikings? Oh, yes. We're ready. Mind you, I don't think there's much chance of them coming today. Why is that? The weather. As you can see, it's foggy out there. Yes, it is a bit misty. Ah. With all the experience that I've had, I would say, without fear of contradiction, that there is no chance at all, no chance whatsoever, of the Vikings coming today. Well, blow me sideways. That's them. Right, lads, there's the alarm. Vikings, Vikings, don't panic. Don't panic, it's the, it's the Vikings, don't panic. Well, I can't see them. Oh, they're out there. The whole Viking fleet. Well, how many ships? It's the whole Viking fleet, lad. But how many ships? How many, Charlie? One. That's it, then. The whole fleet. And there they are. Craw! Hula, hula! Hula, hula, hula! Steady, lads. Fred! Fred, forward! Go on, Fred! Oh, he's beaten Fred. Oh. Right, Bert. The catapult, lad. The catapult. Right, very jolly ho. Catapult ready. Fire! <laughs> That's it, lads. Time's up. Battle's over. Battle over, lads. Battle over. That makes the score 11 battles to the Vikings and 12 to us. We get even next week. Hey, Druid. Hey, lads. Yo, yo. We get even. Yo, yo. yo. We get even. Then you, uh, you won. No, no. It was a draw, actually. We would have won, though, if we had used our last secret weapon. You've got another catapult. Another catapult? No, no. Our last secret weapon is Britain's supreme line of defence. So far, no one, but no one can get past Sebastian. Sebastian? Sebastian. Our old British customs and excise officer. No one can get past him. <laughs> Not past Her Majesty's customs. Have you anything to declare? Any brandy, whiskey, spirits, liqueurs, cigarette cigars, or anything you may have brought with you from abroad? You? We have got something to declare. Well, what is it then? We brought with us some Danish bacon, Danish butter, 
un stinky Danish blue cheese. Oh, and what's that stuff in the barrels then? That is beer. Hey lads, good Danish beer. Yeah, yeah, that's beer. Good Danish beer. But we only drink made in Britain. Made, made from honey. Well, try the beer. I'll try it, but I guarantee, Viking, you'll never change our British drinking habits. <laughs> what an idea. <laughs> Britain's drinking beer indeed. <laughs> we'll never see that in Britain. Never. We are British and Britons all drink mead. You will never, never change us beer indeed. Personally, I prefer tea. Indian tea. He's absolutely right. It's one of the finest drinks in the world. Well, whether you drink milk or coffee or mead or beer or whoopsie cola, why don't you join us next week for another adventure of my very dear friends here, the Potties. Till then, bye-bye. <laughs>